Hi, welcome to EM Rapid News Session. I'm Dr. Jaren Varghese. I'll be starting a, starting a topic on serotonin syndrome and NMS. So, coming to serotonin syndrome, serotonin syndrome is a life threatening uh, problem which occurs from excessive serotonin accumulation in the synaptic cleft. The uh, synaptic cleft accumulation of serotonin usually occurs by drug interactions, especially when a uh, race uh, combination of uh, drugs are used, which cause uh, the serotonin increase in the synaptic cleft. It usually occurs by different mechanism, mainly by the agonism of 5 h 2 uh, a and 5-HT1A receptor. So antidepressants are the most common class of drugs which are associated with the serotonin syndrome. Mostly SSRI, monoamine oxidase inhibitors and TCA and uh, antidepressants. The other drugs which are mostly common as commonly associated with serotonin syndrome are the pain medication, usually the uh, tramadol and meperidol, then antibiotics like linosolid, ciprofloxacin, then cups of resins like dextromethorphan and the St. John's Ward. So we can see the main uh, drugs which are associated with the serotonin syndrome. The antidepressants like monoamine oxidase inhibitors, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors which include fluoxetin, sertral, then the uh, antidepressants uh, which include the atypical antidepressant and also the cyclic antidepressants and uh, other ones like most commonly associated lithium, then linosolid, then uh, we can have the pain medication like tramadol, then we can have meperidin. These are the most commonly associated ones with high chance of serotonin syndrome. So coming to the clinical features, it, the serotonin syndrome is associated with a triad of clinical features, which is commonly uh, the main symptoms in the serotonin uh, syndrome are the altered mental status, then autonomic dysfunction, then neuromuscular changes. It can also be associated with GA symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal pain. Serotonin syndrome usually occurs 2 to 24 hours after the dosage of a serotonin agonist which can be either be an increased do dosage of the drug or addition of a second dose. The, Main symptoms can be uh, described like the cognitive, autonomic and neuromuscular symptoms. The major ones are altered mental status, agitation which are in the cognitive factor, then uh, autonomic symptoms like hyperthermia, diaphoresis and neuromuscular symptoms like myoclonus which is the most commonly associated one. The minor symptoms which include the cognitive insomnia, restlessness, anxiety and in autonomic hypertension or hypotension and in a uh, uh, other GA symptoms including nausea, vomiting and neuromuscular symptoms like akathasia and incoordination. So uh, we can divide the serotonin syndrome into mild, moderate and severe according to the, uh, the severity of the clinical features. The mild uh, part of serotonin syndrome can contain mild fever. The fever will be less than 40 degrees Celsius and uh, other symptoms like uh, tremor, myoclonus, hyperrephrosia will be there. And in moderate serotonin syndrome, the hyperthermia temperature will be greater than 40 degrees Celsius. And other similar like myoclonus and ocular clonus will be there. And uh, GI symptoms will be more prominent. In severe serotonin syndrome, the temperature will be greater than 41.1 degrees Celsius. And uh, it will be associated with altered mental status like uh, delirium and uh, he will also be having uh, myoclonus features. And uh, BP and heart rate will be changing. Hypo hypertension with a tachycardia will be mostly seen. So, as a serotonin syndrome uh, is a diagnosis of exclusion, there will be no as a, there will be no laboratory investigation which we can use to uh, conclude that the diagnose that, that this condition is serotonin syndrome. It is based uh, based entirely on clinical assessment and exclusion of other psychiatric and medical condition. So we can uh, have, there are multiple criteria which are used for the diagnosis of serotonin syndrome and of this Hyundai's criteria is the most prominent one. In Hyundai's criteria, uh, there are multiple uh, points of this any one can be presence of any of the following we can say that is the condition is serotonin syndrome in, in the setting that there is an exposure to a serotonin agent. 
so like spontaneous clonus inducible clonus and agitation or diaphoresis then ocular clonus agitation or diaphoresis uh, along with tremor and hyperreflexia or hypertonic with temperature greater than 38 degrees celsius with ocular clonus or inducible clonus so the serotonin syndrome can be uh, com complicated or serotonin syndrome can be confused with multiple other uh, diseases we can have the differential diagnosis of serotonin syndrome the most common one is neuroleptic malignant syndrome nms and other ones like anticholinergic toxicity malignant hyperthermia or intoxication with symptomatic agents or sedative hypnotics like alcohol benzodiazepine the, uh, then clonidine baclofen this sedative hypnotics withdrawal can also cause the features like uh, serotonin syndrome and thyroid storm uh, and meningitis encephalitis uh, can also cause the features of serotonin syndrome acute extrapidermidum syndrome uh, can also be a uh, common thing which can mimic serotonin syndrome so the treatment part is we have to main thing in the treatment part is we have to stop the drug uh, serotonin drug which which has induced the serotonin uh, serotonin syndrome so stop all the serotonergic uh, drugs are the most common or most important thing you have to do for the treatment part other than that we have to uh, monitor the patient uh, closely with cardiopulmonary monitoring and we have to get peripheral iv lines and we have to uh, may, uh, look for the any ecg changes iv fluid rehydration therapy should be started and also we should evaluate for the chance of rhabdomyolysis as the patient will be having myoclonus so external cooling measures should be started for hyperthermia as the patient will have hyperthermia and benzodiazepines can be started for agitation because uh, the patient will be having myoclonus and the patient will be agitated so, sedation with neurovascular blo uh, blockade and endotracheal intubation with ventilatory su support is uh, better for severe cases as such the patient will be having uh, increased muscle rigidity and uh, we can have uh, uh, hypertensives uh, anti hypertensives and vasopressors according to the whether the patient is having hypo or hypertension a uh, short acting anti hypertensives like uh, nitroprusside or esmolol can be given for severe hypertension and in iv vasopressors like noradrenaline adrenaline or phenylephrine can be given for hypotension which are resistant to initial fluid rehydration resuscitation therapy ciproheptidine is a 5 h2 antagonist which can uh, be tried for serotonin syndrome as said there is not that much clinical evidence be, be for the treatment with ciproheptidine but uh, the, this is uh, given for severe cases of serotonin syndrome so serotonin syndrome is commonly uh, differential uh, diagnosis or commonly mistakenly uh, seen with the neuroleptic malignant syndrome which can uh, coincide or uh, which can, which is usually the sim seeing the similar features like the serotonin syndrome so we can have a discussion about neuroleptic malignant syndrome the nms is a rare com uh, rare com rare condition where is uh, usually an idiosyncratic complication of an anti psychotic drug therapy most often occur you uh, following a starting of an, an uh, anti psychotic therapy or adjustment of the dose of the anti psychotic drug it is not usually an overdose uh, uh, treatment whereas in serotonin syndrome 90% can be due to the dose adjustments or starting of a new drug and 10% can be occur due to an overdose so most commonly uh, drugs which are associated with the problem of nms are all typical anti psychotics and atypical anti psychotics like anipiprazole clozapine olanzapine risperidone ciprazidol and uh, nms patients which are mostly males adult males with in the age group of 20 to 25 years of age So the clinical features of uh, NMS as a triad, not like in uh, whereas in uh, serotonin syndrome it was a uh, triad. Where here it is a uh, four-part syndromes which contain fever, autonomic uh, hyperactivity, rigidity, and uh, mental status changes. We can uh, rem uh, remember the thing as the mnemonic FAM, P F for fever, then uh, autonomic. Uh, hyperactivity by a 
then uh, rigidity by r then mental status changes by m whereas in uh, serotonin syndrome we can uh, have the uh, symptoms as three three sets not like uh, it won't have the uh, most commonly it won't be having the four as fever autonomic uh, hyperactivity rigidity and mental status the rigidity associated with the uh, nms is lead pipe rigidity the uh, nms can also be diagnosed with the lab features which include elevated creatinine kinase elevated total counts total wbc count and elevated hepatic transaminases here patient will can also have myoglobinuria elevated blood urinary and creatinine levels and also decrease serum iron levels hyper or hyponatremia can be associated with the metabolic acidosis in nms the major features of uh, serotonin syndrome uh, major minor and uh, Features of serotonin syndrome is given here, like the fever greater than 38 degree and associated with the uh, muscle rigidity and psychomotor altered mental stages and uh, nervous system instability. So, this fever and uh, fever uh, usually occurs late in the in, uh, phase of NMS. Initial changes will have altered mental status and uh, muscle rigidity followed by fever. So, patient or can also have the sympathetic nervous system liability like elevated BP, uh, hypotension, diaphoresis, urinary incontinence, and minor features like the elevated CK, tachycardia, tachypnea. We should also uh, uh, exclude other causes for the same features like there should be uh, there should not be any other infection, toxins, or metabolic or neurologic cause for the same clinical features. So treatment will be the same, uh, initial treatment will be the same like the serotonin syndrome wherein, whereas we have to withdraw any antipsychotics uh, which can cause NMS and also any potentiating drugs like anticholinergics, antihistamines or lithium. IV hydration should be started here also to restore the circulate, circulating volume and can also help in reducing the temperature. Uh, reducing uh, the temperature can be done with external cooling measures also and uh, we can we have early airway protection may be uh, a good fit, uh, thing here as a patient can have increased rigidity which in which in then can cause elevated seat case and the patient can have multi uh, multi uh, system involvement in in that condition so early intubation is better good if high hypersalivation fever rigidity dysphagia decrease airway reflexes acidosis or hypoxia is present it's, it is better to have early intubation Sedation of the patient with benzodiazepine like lorazepine can be done and uh, non uh, depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents can be given. Also agents uh, like uh, uh, dandrolin, bromocyptin and amandadine can be tried for severe muscle rigidity like lead pipe rigidity associated with the uh, NMS. So the main thing we have to look for is how to uh, differentiate between serotonin syndrome and NMS. Here, mainly the addition of serotonergic agent like uh, TCS, SSRIs are the main cause for serotonin syndrome. Whereas in NMS, the addition of dopamine antagonist, antipsychotics or withdrawal of a dopamine agonist is the cause for the NMS. The onset is usually <coughs> serotonin syndrome 2 to 24 hours. Whereas in NMS, it occurs uh, within days to weeks. And the main sin, uh, the clinical features of serotonin syndrome is myoclonus and tremor. Whereas in uh, the NMS, we can have lead pipe rigidity. Patient in serotonin syndrome can also have hyperreflexia. Whereas in NMS, patient can have brady reflexia and brady kinesia. And uh, GA symptoms like diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain are more prominent and most commonly seen in serotonin syndrome. Whereas in NMS, we can have the lab clinical investigation which uh, will uh, show the uh, can have a confirmatory diagnosis why a patient will have will be having elevated ck ast alt and total uh, total wc count elevation this, this is the main thing we can uh, use to uh, differentiate between serotonin syndrome versus nms this is the uh, main gist of the topic of nms and uh, serotonin syndrome and uh, we'll be ending the session
Thank you.